Hey, Star Wars fans and Black Series action figure collectors. We've got Tech in his mercenary gear from Season 2 of The Bad Batch. This is the fourth and not quite final figure in the wave. Um, I'm not going to worry about the Republic Commando. Um, that one's just... Yeah, it didn't do much for me. Um, so, yeah, nice picture of Tech there. Figure on the box. Number 16 says tech is the bad batch's computer specialist with his data analysis skills he can puzzle through technological issues at speeds even faster than some droids again 15.2 centimeters or six inches comes with his helmet his blaster and his backpack so let's get rid of the packaging and take a look at the figure yeah here he is zoom in and have a look So yeah, one major upgrade with this figure, apart from the colour scheme, his the entire body is the same as the original version, the phase, the season one version of tech. Um, probably the biggest upgrade here is the head sculpt. This time he does include his his goggles, which was definitely something that was highlighted by myself and many other collectors alike with the first version. Um, given that the uh, helmet was removable. Um, and his goggles were sort of built into the helmet. Um, whereas in the series, you never saw a tech without his goggles. So a fantastic upgrade. I think it's perfect. One small omission to this figure, um, and the previous one is his data pad. I think that would be a accessory would as an accessory would be fantastic, but you know, he can't have it all, unfortunately. But yeah, in terms of the figure itself, you know, the paint's on point. It's nice. Um, again, so there's sort of slight flashes of orange going for a bit of a lighter look. His armor was lighter anyway, um, in comparison to sort of the deep, deep metal grays of the Bad Batch previously. Now, this time he's just gone with sort of blue trousers um, and a white undersuit. For the, for the top, but yeah, otherwise the armor hasn't changed in terms of sculpt anyway or shape. So he's kept the same armor, just repainted, recolored, uh, repurposed. I'm missing a few small details in comparison to the first version, but at the same time, I did update the first version with a sharpie with some areas, so. I can't remember what's part of the figure and what I did myself. Uh, backpack is removable. As stated, this one's probably this one's a little bit of a loose one though, unfortunately. Um, it, it, once it's in there, it's nice. It's got a little bit of a wobble, um, but the two antennas sort of come separate, so you got to plug them in yourself. Again, not a big problem. Again, sort of some plain orange flashes to to that there. But I do love the I do love the way they've done the goggles. I think this is uh, you know very very remarkable of Hasbro to go back and fix this up. I think that's uh, big points for that. You know, I mean, it should have been like this the first time, but they, they listened um, and they went back and corrected it. Is you know, it's uh, it's you know worth it. So yeah, definitely definitely appreciated. They're not removable. Uh, which is fine. I did actually have my customs that I made for my first one. And I'll tell you what, aside from scale, I think I got pretty close. <laughs> they didn't fit under the helmet. You had to take them off separately. But um, yeah, we'll take a look at that in just a moment. So yeah, his helmet, uh, which is here. You know, again, probably is a slight retool. than cutting the eyes out and sculpting it. Slight different colours. Sort of earmuff thing sort of pops off, which actually may benefit from putting for putting the helmet on. Um, I watched uh, Sci-Fi's review, and uh, yeah, he wasn't sure whether it was ever going to come back off again once this is on there. The way it sort of the helmet fits, so I decided I'm going to do it here on camera um, and try and get this on as neatly as possible. You know what, it, it might come off okay, but 
and it's going to take a bit of work because that sort of locks in there quite nicely actually yeah I wouldn't want to wiggle too much I mean I don't think it'll damage it but all the same you know once it's on it's on and we'll put those earmuffs I know they're not earmuffs but them back on and that sits nicely and that looks a bit like our bit more like our tech so I like that that's cool you with the blast shield down how am I supposed to see I dig it I like that that looks good so let's bring in the first version and here is tech again head sculpt underneath no goggles but uh just for purposes of the video i'll show you as soon as i showed you the goggles i might as well show you with them on and you know for, for the most part i thought they worked okay i can't remember what i made them out of a little bit big but um yeah that's fine So yeah, nice to have the upgrade though. I do appreciate that. Again, uh, I did. I do remember painting these tools up with a with a silver sharpie just to give them a little bit more. And whether or not I did the, the details on the buckle and the little scope there, I'm not sure. I may have done that. I may not have. It's uh, yeah, not not gelling with my memory right at this stage. Yeah, the two standing next to each other. I think they look pretty good. It actually does look to be a new helmet. It's ever so slight differences in shape. But again, it could just be a very clever retool. So, But yeah, in terms of the sculpt, the rest of the figure is pretty much the same. I'm not picking out any major differences here. If you are, please sound out in the comments below. Let me know if I've missed something. There's every chance I have. Again, I reckon I did the uh, silver on the antennas on the backpack there. And sort of see, start to seeing it wearing off a little bit. It's sort of just because there's just a sort of bent off in storage a little bit. Not a big problem. Yeah, I'm not seeing any major major differences in sculpt there, so effectively the same figure, but not a bad problem at all. Again, one thing missing is probably a holster, to be honest. Um, whether he has one in the series, I can't remember. But, you know, he's only got one, so again, you can sort of forgive them for, for missing the trigger finger on this one. But otherwise... It's not too bad. I, I, I like it. I'm digging tech. It's nice to have the crew together. I'm looking forward to getting Omega, actually, the the second version. Um, I'm probably going to... Maybe, I don't know. I don't know whether to get two of them and upgrade the first one a bit. I, I don't know. Not sure yet. Um, it's because she's going to come with alternate heads, so... I think it's going to be a cool one. I'm looking forward to for, for her to come in. So there we have the Bad Batch. Hope you've enjoyed this review, guys. Before I do, before I finish up, I will go through the articulation. You know what? I will. I've made a point of not doing articulation for a long time, but um, I'm going to start doing it again. Um, and I have with the last recent last recent batch of reviews, so I'm going to try and try and fit it into my videos. So he does have the ball joint in the head, the neck ball hinge in the shoulders with a butterfly joint in there as well uh, swivel at the shoulders and hinge at the uh, swivel at the elbow and hinge at the elbow swivel and a hinge at the wrists the left wrist goes in and out the right goes up and down bit of a joint there in the abs a bit of an ab cruncher as they call them. Uh, ball joint in the thighs hips Swivel in the hips, swivel in the thighs. 
I'll, I will remember to do this how this goes properly soon, guys. Promise. Uh, hinge at the knees and swivel. And a hinge in the ankles and a swivel for the rocker ankles. So he's got what you need. Tech's got all the stuff you need. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. Please send out in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Always great to hear from you all. Do appreciate your time and, and effort into putting the comments out there. And we'll see you very shortly for some more reviews. Thanks for hanging out, Bad Batch Week. It's been fun. And we'll see you all very, very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.